Hey guys, Spudknocker here. Welcome back to DCS World. Today we're going to talk about probably the most difficult thing you can do in DCS World at the moment, and that is landing the AVAB Carrier 2 on the USS Tarawa. The USS Tarawa is of course named after the Battle of Tarawa, fought in the earlier stages of the Pacific War. All amphibious assault ships in the U.S. Navy are named after amphibious campaigns during World War II. We have the Tarawa, the Saipan, the Guadalcanal, the Iwo Jima, and others. Landing the Harrier on the Tarawa requires a lot of concentration and a lot of familiarity with the aircraft, much in the same way that air-to-air -air refueling requires your utmost concentration and your utmost knowledge of the aircraft and how it flies. You really need to make sure you're in the right mental space, you're not too stressed out, and you're not trying to jerk the aircraft around the sky. You need to be very smooth, very cool when putting the aircraft down. A few things you need to know are where the fuel dump switches are, because you cannot land on the aircraft carrier if it is too heavy. So your fuel dump switches are right here on your left hand console. And if we look at our instrument panel on the bottom right, we can see our fuel starting to dump. It dumps at roughly a rate of about 100 pounds of fuel per two-ish seconds. It isn't super fast, but after a while doing a circuit or two around the carrier, you should be at your target weight. You also need to know how to jettison weapons. There are plenty of resources to figure that out if you haven't already. It's very similar to the F5. Just select your stations and hit your eject button. So, without further ado, we'll turn our dump valves off and we'll make our approach and land on the Tarawa. So, to start out here, you'll notice that on my right hand side, I don't have my engine MFD page up. I find that all the en engine info that I need is displayed on the HUD during landing and having too much information coming at you can distract your eye towards your instrument panel, in my opinion, and distract you from the task at hand, which is putting the Harrier right on the deck of the aircraft carrier, which is a hard enough task without any distraction. Another thing you want to be cognizant of is you don't want to slow down and get into your hover too far astern of the Tarawa. You want to kind of, kind of find the sweet spot of getting into your hover close enough to the ship, but not too far away. Because if you get into your hover and the ship starts to outpace you, that can really cause issues. And you'll have a very hard time of picking up your pace to get to the Tarawa. You can see we tur just turned on our landing water to help give us some little extra power and keep our engine from overheating. Bring our nozzles down a little bit to help us slow down, pop our speed brakes, and you can see we're trying to line up to have the same heading as the carrier. And we're lining up offset to the left just a little bit. As we get closer, bring our nozzles down more and slower our airspeed down even more. Once we get below 180, we'll drop our gear. Landing gear, landing gear. Coming down. As we slow down more and more, we'll put our nozzles down even farther. We've got them all the way forward to help us slow down even faster. This is where you kind of need to have a really good fuel of the aircraft so you can dance between your stick, your throttle, and the angle of the thrust. So you want to line up roughly about 50 yards to the port of the Tarawa. Like I said, you don't want to get too slow because if you start to get slower than the carrier, it's 
very difficult to catch up. And to bring it right, we roll to the right just a little bit while adding simultaneous left rudder to keep the nose from slipping to the right. And like any carrier landing, your landing is going to be pretty rough. You really want to plant the Harrier on the deck of the ship to keep from accidentally rolling to the left or to the right. And you of course want to engage your wheel brakes before and as you touch down. So we're still dancing on that throttle, trying to make sure our positioning on the deck is correct, and then we go for the deck. So it did seem like a hard landing, but having that landing and sticking it to the deck keeps us from accidentally taxiing off the side of the ship or to the right into personnel or other aircraft. So thanks a lot guys. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And I hope this helps somebody. Thanks a lot guys.